right, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today I just wanted to run through a quick product review of the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. Um, just kind of talk a little bit about uh, how it's been working for me here, and run through a couple of the different tests and how they perform, and then we'll go ahead and do an actual test on the aquaponics system that we have here. Um, the system that I have, it's been running for about a month with the fish in it, and I've got uh, two grow beds. Uh, currently running, so 50, uh, half of a 55 gallon drum <coughs> and another half here. Um, so I've got a little little bit of biological uh, filter going with the rock in there. So it's not running at full capacity. I still have two more two more grow beds to fill up, but uh, um, it's been working decently so far. So um, I also added a heater to the system since the last time I tested the water to get the water temperature up just a few degrees. So hopefully the nitrification process is going to work a little better in here so we'll see once we test the water so the uh, API freshwater master test kit I picked this one up on Amazon for $20 1999 um, and uh, so far it's been working really well it's very easy to use um, it comes with four basic tests so you can see there's a low level pH that runs from 6 to 7.6 .6, and there's a high range pH test it's a separate test for um, anything from 7.4 up to 8.8 .8. um, and then there's the ammonia test which runs from 0 to 8 parts per million and a nitrate test up to 5 parts per million and then a nitrate test which runs up to 160 parts per million so um, each of the tests there's a little instruction booklet that comes with it it's really detail that tells you exactly how to test the water it tells you what the level should be um, it is for an aquarium so this is mainly focused on how to take care of the fish but um, this kind of tells you where your levels should be at just kind of give you a general rule of thumb and and uh, what you should be at so um, the uh, most of the tests you just put one you know there's one bottle for the test so you just follow the instructions it tells you which bottle to put in and how many drops um, you just fill up one of these little vials here to the to the line and then follow the instructions for the test drop the drops in shake it up and let it sit for whatever specified time. Uh, I think it's anywhere from two to five minutes. And then you just take that uh, little test file there and hold it up to your chart and compare the colors. And you get a pretty good reading. So it's been pretty accurate so far as far as the uh, where the levels have been at in the system. Um, about a week and a half ago when I tested, it was uh, pretty high in everything. Ammonia was pretty high. The uh, pH was was way too high and uh, as I understand it that will come down as the nitrification process gets going a little bit better and probably as I add more biological media to the other grow beds but um, the nitrate levels were kind of hanging in the middle and the nitrate levels were kind of hanging out in the middle so um, there's at least something in there to keep these plants alive and they actually have been growing so the broccoli and the tomatoes and the green peppers have been doing the best since the pH is pretty high and the leafy stuff, the oregano and the lettuce and that has been not doing very well. <laughs> and the, they don't do well in high pH, so as that comes down, hopefully those will do better. But So I'll go ahead and uh, fill up a couple of these test tubes and we will run the test on the aquaponics system here and see what the levels are at. Alright, so we've got all the tests done here and actually have some really good results for the system. Um, compared with about a week and a half ago, this is night and day. It's a big difference in the, in the results here. So, um, Something I forgot to mention too in the first part. Um, the kit comes with uh, seven bottles of the solution to do the various tests. Um, based on the amount of drops that you're putting in each time, I would, I'm going to estimate you can probably do about 100 of these. I would say between 75 and 100 tests before you probably run out of some of the solution. Um, the nitrate test, I think each bottle you have to put in 10 drops, that's the one you have to use the most of, so you probably run out of that first. Um, and you can order replacement, um, just, just you know, individual bottles of the uh, test solution. So, um, so just kind of going through these one by one, I'll move these off to the side here. Pretty easy to tell apart because the colors are pretty distinctly different. But... The first test that we did here was the pH, which this is this one I'm still working on. Um, as the nitrification gets going a little bit better, this will come down, but it's still high, but not as high as it was. So it looks like about 8.2, I think, here. Um, it was maxed out 
like dark purple last time I did the test at 8.8 .8, so um, it's starting to come down this I want to come down slowly um, and I'd like to get it down closer to 7 uh, or 7.2 I'd like to kind of hang out right around that pH so um, I may add a little bit of a pH down solution to bring it down a couple more points but I'm gonna do that real slowly so maybe like two points per week and just keep bringing it down a little bit um, so that's really good that that's moving in the right direction um, the next one is ammonia um, again last time I did the test about a week and a half ago this was maxed out dark green and now it's looking like 0.25 parts per million or less so um, I'm really happy with that that's good less ammonia you don't want to have any ammonia in the system it basically as soon as the fish produce that the uh, the nitrification process, process, the bacteria should be eating that stuff up right away. So, um, try to get away from the glare here. Uh, the next test is nitrite, and this is another one you want to be pretty much at zero. So again, the bacteria are eating up the the fish waste and that ammonia, and they're turning that into nitrite right away. And then there's another set of bacteria that should be eating that nitrate up and turning it into nitrate, which is what we want. Um, again, it looks like pretty close to zero, um, 0.25 maybe to zero here. So that's that's good. Again, about a week and a half ago, I did the same test and it was maxed out at almost five. So, um, And the good uh, last one here, this is nitrates. And sorry about that glare. So nitrates I have here, this is the one that you want to be a little bit higher. That's giving your plants some food. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna say probably about 40, between 40 and 80 parts per million on that. Um, so this is good. That means the system's working. It's finally kind of regulated itself a little bit. Um, and, uh, so that's a, that's a good sign. So we'll keep, keep filling these, these rock or, uh, um, grow beds up and, um, maybe I can start feeding the fish a little bit more because I've been kind of, um, keeping their food to a minimum so that I didn't overload the system here. But now that it's working good, I can probably feed them a little more. And we had a little jumper. We actually had a little fish jump out of the tank when it was full, up to the brim here, just about. He must have jumped over and landed in here. My brown, rusty water. Where is he? He's over there. So he got lucky. He landed in the only place he could have jumped out and survived. He landed in the, in the sump tank, but uh, I'll have to fish him out of there. But anyway, this concludes the uh, review of the API Freshwater Master Test Kit and just kind of an update on the test results here in the aquaponics system. So hope you enjoy the video. If you have questions or suggestions or feedback of any sort, um, please let me know. Uh, hit, hit the comment section up. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. And otherwise, we'll be looking forward to uh, putting out a few more videos. So subscribe to the channel and um, we'll have uh, some videos coming your way, uh, hopefully one or two a week. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.